Hello, good afternoon. Happy Monday. How's your day going today? I'm putting my messages on there. If you're joining, please say hello. I'd love to welcome you in. Uh, my name is Beth Hitchcock and you're watching my Chocolate Tour channel. It's called Chocolate One. And we have a fun project today. I'm just going to wait a few minutes and make sure we've gone live. It takes a little bit for Facebook to catch up sometimes. Something dinkled, <clears throat> so I think we might be live now. It's nice and warm here today. We had a beautiful walk in the woods. <clears throat> and I was out front, I had to go water a pot of flowers that I had forgot to water yesterday. And um, last year I had put some uh, wild flower seeds down and I just wanted to show you what I found out out there. Can you see this pretty little plant? It's got very delicate little flowers and then these really cool leaves have the seeds inside. I don't know what kind of plant that is but I thought it was just gorgeous. I just loved it. I cut it and put it in my little jar here that we had. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not but we had done um, etching on this before and so it's just so pretty. <clears throat> well, back up here for a second. <clears throat> Today, I have a huge project. I'm using one of our largest size transfers. We sell um, reusable silkscreen transfers. They're reusable 8 to 12 times with good care. And um, they have a sticky adhesive on the back and a silkscreen. And then you just wash that um, and it's reusable. So today we're using one of the largest ones. And let me see, I'll put you back down here again. Sorry about that. Um, today we're working on this large board I have and I wanna show you real quick what it used to be. It used to be this burlap board right here. It had gray burlap on it and these brads um, nailed into it. Well, I had chalked on that and it, Boy, that project did not turn out for me, but I didn't want to waste the board. Um, so what I did was I um, took the fabric off of it, removed the um, brads. I painted it with chalk board paste. And so I painted it and waxed it. And now I have this really cool surface to put a design on. And who doesn't love s'mores? That's what we're doing today in honor of the first day of summer. We're gonna get this s'mores uh, transfer all laid down on here, really cute. So why don't we go ahead and get started because this, you might need to do a little peeling and pulling on this one or pasting and pulling. I'm gonna get two of my terry cloth towels or my fuzzy cloths. And I'm going to remove this large piece. I've already cut apart on the cutting lines. And I like to just use my transfer trimmers and zip along those so that my backer sheet stays intact. You can totally cut this apart and then label it. Oh, I, which reminds me, I should write on the back of this. Which side is up, which side is down. And remember, if you're watching, say hello, like and follow my page, hit the like button and the hearts and all that other good stuff that lets Facebook know that this video has value for you and they'll keep um, posting it out there for me. Facebook can be kind of a tricky platform. So what I do with these large ones, because I don't want it to roll back and stick on itself, is I unroll about half of it, place my fuzzing cloth over it, <clears throat> and then pull the rest of it up, set that over there, and put the fuzzing cloth on this part of it. And now we're just gonna go to town and fuzz this. And I'm sorry, I don't, I don't really know if this transfer 
is um, still available in the catalog. I have had it since last year, so it may not be, but I've not used it. And I just was so excited with the first day of summer that I thought we'd open it up and celebrate. We have a little fire pit in the front. Holy cow, speaking of fires. We were barbecuing yesterday. And I, I, usually, I usually do the barbecuing. So I had started the barbecue, it's a gas barbecue. Um, we'd used it just a couple of weeks ago. And um, I set it, I, I light it, when, put the um, settings on high, because I like the grill to heat up really nice so I can, we had some really nice T-bone steaks for Father's Day. So I put it on high and I came back in to get my, my stuff, went back out there and um, through, it was really hot. The temperature gauge said 500 degrees and um, threw the steaks and the corn on the cob on and then came back in the house to uh, wash the dish that the steaks were in. When I got back out there, it, there was a plume of smoke and I opened it and everything in the barbecue was on fire. I was scared to death. Um, I tried to get the steaks off. I did manage finally. The corn was a total loss and I saw a fire below and I was worried that the tanks was gonna get hot and maybe explode. So I had to try and quickly um, turn the gas off. That was scary. That feels pretty good. Hi, Barb. Who doesn't love s'mores? So Bill had, Bill had just left to go to the store and to get gas in my car and um, he got back and I said, I almost died while you were gone. He says, don't do that. <laughs> so, let's see, I think, I want room at the top for our little, maybe right there. That looks pretty good. Now this board, does have a few little bumps in it, so I don't know if that's really going to be a problem for us or not, but you know, I'm not really, since this is a repurposed board, um, I'm not going to be really sad if it doesn't come out just the way I want it to, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so you know, I waxed this board and buffed it uh, before the live. It's pretty noisy doing that, so I'm just going to push this down really good. There we go. And we're going to do, um, let me see, what did I decide? Um, s'mores. I don't remember what I decided. We're gonna do kind of a ombre with this word. And like I said, we'll probably end up doing a peel and pull on this because it's gonna be a little bit involved. Not terribly, but just a little bit. I don't know if I need placement tape, but I'll set that there. Get some squeegees out. <clears throat> You love s'mores, Barb. I haven't had one in such a long time, but Bill was talking about it the other day. That also inspired this project. I don't know how many squeegees I need, but you know me. I use a lot. Okay. Um, let's see here. We know we're gonna do this and we'll make those kind of toasty on the top and on the side. This will be um, our bark. This will be camel, the cracker. I think the, I think the little letters, we'll do those definitely in white because I want them to stand out. And maybe we'll do 
I don't know. We'll just get started and um, figure it out as we go. So I've chosen, the colors I've chosen are Papaya and Golden Hour, uh, Camel. I think this color is going away. That's another thing that's really cool, Bright White and Bark, is that the uh, summer catalog is coming to an end as of July 6th. There's anything in there that's not in the new catalog. If you want a copy of the new catalog that's coming out, the um, autumn, fall, uh, the fall, fall, winter catalog, let me know and I'll send you a link for that. And I think we'll just get started here. So we're going to do an ombre with these two colors. Might get to do a little finger painting today. This is such a large project. I had to move my um, my setup all the way um, towards the desk. Let me get a Clorox wipe out here real quick. Just so you guys know, these burlap boards, I've seen some beautiful projects done with them. For some reason, I have just not had very good luck. So I'm happy I was able to find a way to repurpose this. So maybe I do need some stir sticks. Scoop and stir and scoop. This papaya looks pretty good. Kind of getting almost halfway through my old pace. So let's see, we did, I think we will do it kind of in a line. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do this first. So I go almost to the top of where I put the papaya. And then what I'll do is I'll take my finger and we'll really mix that together. Get that U covered up there good. This is so fun, you guys. That's pretty. And then let's get our Papaya again. I'm just going to use the squeegee though, I think. And let's see, we'll mix this in with that a little bit. And then we'll scoop up the rest of this. Maybe we'll mix that in just a little bit there to blend it. So we're just going to kind of go along with this little technique. There's some wild animal out there making a lot of noise. We have a black bear that's been touring around the neighborhood, so that might have been what that was. And then Bill saw a baby moose, or not, well, a yearling, I'd say, when he was mowing the lawn the other day, traipsing around. So, moose on the loose, bear on the run, and barn kitties everywhere. A little bit more there. We'll finish this S and then I think we'll pull up this first part because our paste is getting a little dried out at the top already. Let's see, we'll go this way. Let me do this. Let's 
summer colors. So pretty. Okay, let me scrape up the excess here. Make sure we have everything covered and we'll pull up some more. I hope. Now I can't <clears throat> reuse this because I've mixed the color, so I'm just gonna wipe it off here. And I'm gonna go through and just clean up the extra paste everywhere. Get those harsh lines off of it. You don't want a ton of paste sitting in your silk screen. Okay, that looks good. Now, paste off my fingers and we'll we're going to get another wet wipe because I still have paste all over my fingers. This is gonna look good. I see a spot I missed over here on that U. There we go. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That came out good. There's a little blip on that S right there. And I just let it roll back down softly. And I'll redo that a little bit. Pull that back up. That's better. When that <clears throat> when you the it, when you see the, the paint, you see the pattern of the silk screen in there. And that is what just makes this so magic, if you ask me, is that silkscreen um, print. Okay, so now, I think, you know, the ideas kind of come to me as I'm going. So we're going to do roast in the papaya, um, golden hour, layer in the golden hour, and then the, the small words we'll do in white. So I think my papaya is okay. Let's do this. It pops really nice on that black. squeegee. I think we can get this all done before it dries. The new paste, um, you've heard me say probably a lot, is that the creamy dreamy formula gives us a little bit more time. The old paste dries a lot faster. So you kind of have to pay attention to that. <clears throat> and now here's our beautiful bright white. Scrape it off. We'll do the marshmallows last. I also painted this board, um, like I said, with chalkboard paint, and I let it cure for two days before attempting to do anything on it. I have another board um, almost like this, but I didn't take the fabric off of it. It was really hard to take the fabric off. 
Um, it was really hard. Let's get our marshmallows. And we're going to give them a little toasty toast. Scrape off my excess. And now let's open our brown. And I'm just going to dip my finger in and toast this marshmallow a little bit. You like your, that's all, that was a lot. Do you like your marshmallows just melted, brown, or black? Let's put a little swirl in here, maybe. A little swirl up here. Okay. Now let's see. We'll go through here and scrape this extra off. That looks good. We're going to... Wipe our fingers off and lift this up. Oh, toasty marshmallows. I like it. Okay, and now we're going to continue on. Get the air back out of your silk screen when you lift it up like that. Paste and peel. And I want to, <clears throat> I don't know if you can see this here. Let me move this up a little bit so you can see. Right here are these, it's a, like a little, looks like a little periscope sighting. These are called registration marks. And I'll chalk those and then um, really hoping that it comes off of this board uh, so we can line up our, our overlays. So let's get our, uh, we're gonna do graham cracker and camel. And we'll do the chocolate in ch bark. This is a little bit thick. I'm going to add a little bit of water to this. This is the old formula, but like I said, it still works quite well. And I'm almost through with it. This would also be, um, you can see it's got a little bit of clumps in it, but this is also, it would be good to paint with too. Um, this makes really great paint. So let's get our chocolate pieces over here. Hershey's chocolate, right? My favorite chocolate is dark chocolate, like 75%. Not a big milk chocolate fan, but I'll eat it in a pinch. That looks pretty good. Let's get our... Oh... Yes, graham crackers. See where it's green here? That's where the marshmallow is. There's no silk screen there, so we can paste all over the top of this. This is also the older formula. Get the bottom cracker. I'm going to put this out by our little fire pit. I 
it's going to inspire us to have s'mores this weekend. I'm just going to do that in this color. It's nice and light. I should be able to remove that after we're all finished. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to peel this up from the bottom this time and then we'll do the enjoy. Looks good. And then lay it back down. Now, I think maybe we'll do the ombre with um, enjoy. That'll kind of tie it into the top. And then this will be white down here. So let me do the white first. Go. And we said ombre, so we'll do, we have enough. Just the tips of that. I love this uh, effect here. I think it's so fun. There's a lot of papaya left on there. Let me get some of that off. That's better. Okay, I think that'll work. Okay, we're done with this transfer. Let's pull that up and see if everything got covered well. Looks like it. Good. Okay, I'm going to hang this off on the side of my table. I'll take it to the sink and wash it. And we have a few more things to do. Try this. And maybe use enough water. This is the one we have to worry about because we're going to be layering over that. So I want to get it really dry because I might put a little tiny bit of wax on it to keep our paste from pulling up. Just kind of putting my lids back on real quickly.
open it now. So when you're layering uh, transfers, um, and you're going to be putting a transfer over where there's art, you just lay down some paste. Um, I like to put a little bit of wax just really gently over it. I don't buff it after, when I'm doing it on paste though. And it just gives me a little insurance that my um, paste that's already laid down isn't going to pull up. Okay. Probably need that again. So here's the other pieces of our transfer, and this has a number two on it, so that'll be the next piece that we lay down. That looks like the melted marshmallow to me. Put this over here to get a fuzz and tell. I'm gonna fuzz, fuzz, fuzz. color of that love you s'more reminds me of my barbecue fire yesterday. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, mistakes were good though, I have to tell you. Talk about a good sear on them. All right. Let's see if we can line these registration marks up. I pull up any there's a little bit there it looks like well we'll do the best we can you can kind of see where it needs to go that looks pretty good so you don't I don't think you even really need the registration marks for this one. Oh, I waxed it good, all right. Looks good. Okay, so we're going to do our toasty marshmallow again. Get our white fluff in there, and then we'll give a little toast on the the side of it, maybe. Just a hint. All right, that looks good. Let's pull that off. That looks good. And now I'm gonna put the melted chocolate over it. That's cute. 
let's try that. We can close this up. Maybe just a hint of just a tiny bit of wax again. chocolate. If I was doing this on a lighter surface, I would add a little bit of um, just a, a, a dot of, in, a, in like one of our color trays, a black and a dot of red to make that more of a, a, a true chocolate color. But I don't think it's, no one's going to be assessing the quality of the chocolate on this sign. Okay. That is still pretty darn sticky. Let's give it a little bit more. I'm gonna wanna get down to the few last pieces and pull up our design. I thought this board would make a cool um, Halloween board too. Now let's see, I can see that that has to line up. How does this go? Let me find my pins over there somewhere. Barely see, I can barely see those registration marks. Oh, I see. Okay, so that's where it goes. Yep. Oh, so we're going over our marshmallow. Okay, fine by me. Here's some more bark. This would be really fun to have um, at your campsite too. You know, if you're having a camping, a family get together, this would be a cute sign to have there. That looks cute. <laughs> that looks so cute. <laughs> okay, we're gonna let that dry. That looks like chocolatey goodness. I have to move these somewhere else here. All right, we're gonna dry that. And then we have just a couple little finishing touches. Maybe, wow. That paste might still be. Oh, let's see if I can get those registration marks off. Yeah, that worked. Oh boy, waxing your surface is so, so important, I think.
Okay. Now we are going to what we have left is our little little camp sticks and the marshmallow to poke on the end of them. So we're going to put this here. That's our stick. Definitely going to get marshmallows and chocolate for this weekend. Maybe up across the top there. Yeah, I like that. We need room for our marshmallow. Let me see how big he is. Just fine. Just wonder if I want them on the edge here though instead. That would leave a lot of space there though. What if we crisscrossed them? That would be kind of cute. Let's do that. I think we still have room for the marshmallow. Yep. Okay, we're going to do one this way. I think I'm going to turn this upside down towards me. So I don't have to lean over so far. Can you see? There we go. Okay. The little branch is about in the middle. All right, we're going to use a combination of uh, chocolate, and we're going to put, throw a little um, dune in it. Running out of squeegees. Oh, there's one left. Save that. Need a little more chocolate, I think. Not that much.
then let's dry that and we'll crisscross it the other way. about that angle maybe. Do swirls. Let's see if we can get some of this paste over here. Yep, that's good. Slow over where the paste is. Perfect. That came out good. We'll dry that and we'll stick some marshmallows on there. I'm going to just put that in there because it's not enough light color to make a difference. I might need these to. drink of water and then we're going to finish up our toasted marshmallows up here.
last but not least, a marshmallow. Oh, I almost, oh boy, we might have just had a little bit of room there. Let me see if I did it on this side. This side is better. Up to the larger squeegees now. I ran out of my small ones. Perfect. Now let's see where we're going to be able to put this one. <clears throat> to get a better look at it. Maybe I'll put it more on the stick. That's what we'll do. Not sure. Oh, I pulled up. You see where I pulled up the stick there? That's okay. I think that's fine. I can paint that in if I want to. But you can see the paste pulled up on my um, silk screen right here. See that? So that'll wash off of my silk screen, no problem. But we did pull up our design a little bit. I will get a. We'll let that dry first. Those look like good marshmallows though. That's cute. Don't you think that came out nice? Let me close up the pastes and then I'll wash those squeegees up. You want to close your paste up pretty quickly after using it because it's chalk and it's going to dry out on you if you don't. Love you some more. Roast layer. Enjoy. That's
that's our board today. It was a big one. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, don't let these big boards intimidate you. Just take your time. Peel, uh, paste and peel is a really good way of doing it. Um, let me see if I have a tiny, what we can do, that's a lot to cover, but let me find that brown. Let me see if I can just poke some color into that area that I pulled up. Although it doesn't really take this uh, multi-purpose tool and then just kind of dab the color in there, fill it in. That's not working. How about a teeny tiny, a little tiny paintbrush with a little bit of water on it? And a little bit of chalk paint paste. That's a little bit better. Just want a little color on that tip there. That got pulled up. Ah, it's fine. I'm not gonna worry about it. So, friends. Do this. There it is. I love you s'more. So thanks for joining me today for this really fun project. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, drop me a message. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Uh, we have a few days left in the month to get um, your Club Couture uh, started. It's $19.99 a month, and that's free shipping to your home monthly. And every month you get a, a B size, which is a eight and a half by 11 transfer and three coordinating paste packets to create something fun. And I always come on and do at least three projects during the month uh, for that transfer. We also have the, um, the Kickstart kit or the Kickstart um, transfers that are available only till the end of the month and then they're gone. And uh, let me see if I have those here to show you. I do, I think. So it's this one, blah, 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 coffee. And this one says, love is brewing fresh daily. So that's one. This is another one. This is the second one. Oops, I was going the wrong way. Work hard, snack often, and love you to the fridge and back. And then this was a real cute one. Clean, cook, clean, repeat, cook, eat, clean, repeat. Um, so these are, these are, these are a B-size transfer, like I said the club is. So that's, these are $14.99 a month. And um, this month only, the special is, is if you buy $75 worth of product, you can choose one of those. If you buy $100 worth of product, you can choose two of those. And if you um, buy a buy $125 worth of product, you can get all three of those free. And it looks like something's happening to my Wi-Fi. So I'm going to sign off. Have a great rest of your day till we chop again. Take care.